In Denmark, on Western Australia's south coast, artists are working with community group Green Skills to create installations in service of the environment. I'm at the Wetland Centre, sited on the Denmark Agricultural College farm. Here, a bird hide, a boardwalk, bird roosting islands and the tree plantings itself have incorporated artistic design ideas to help visitors learn about ecology. This art brings people in touch with the ancient paper bark trees and wildlife of this wetland. Eco art is colourful, enriching, exciting. Through its educational role, art can catch the attention of people, young and old, to become engaged with caring for our environment. At the Green Skills Tip Shop and Reuse Centre, art supports the message reduce, reuse and recycle. Here, artists have transformed discarded objects into striking sculptures and signage. Art forms part of a program to divert waste from landfill into new uses. This helps the tip shop reduce waste, create jobs, support lower income families and educate people about sustainability. Sanctuary, a cultural venue overlooking the Denmark Kurubak River, art forms part of the very structure of the building. Inside is a suspended glass sphere symbolizing the living earth. Stained glass windows highlight our links to the solar system. A floor mosaic designed by a local Nunga artist tells the story of Kurubak place of the brush wallaby. In the Gondwana garden outside, recycled metal sculptures depict long extinct megafauna. At the Mai Mai community garden, Three murals add colour and interest to the vegetable beds, sheds and orchard. These murals depict the cycles of the seasons and the joy of growing organic food. EcoArt celebrates the role of creativity and service of planet Earth. These four art sites around Denmark are available for visiting and learning from. Here we can learn to co-create with nature and deepen our connections to the living Earth. <laughs>